So, willkommen zurück. Es geht direkt weiter. Wir gehen zur Arbeit. Wetness Day. Good evening. Ah, chill. Good timing. Is it? You two always make me feel like I'm late. If it helps, that dog isn't coming until sometime later. Anyway, do you have something planned for Sunday? Watch silly mega Christmas specials with 1000 grams of black fur on my lap. Why? I was thinking about ho holding a small mega Christmas party here this Sunday. You in? Sure, why not? Alright. Invite any client you acqu acqu acquainted with, the more the merrier. You didn't bring your cat today. The raid stopped. They found whatever or whoever they were looking for. Oh. Anyways, we better start working. Yeah, you better. Ja, easy. Einfach so lassen. Wer braucht denn die Scheiße hier? Oh, wo war der Wurdol? So. <lacht> Time to make strings and change lives. Welcome to Ah, Ähm. Um, What the... Die ist cute! Ein... Ein Flaftschan. I... Jetzt, 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 jetzt fickt das Spiel mit mir. Jetzt, jetzt fickt das Spiel mit mir. <lacht> I want a fluffy dream. May I see your ID, please? I don't have an ID because, um... I'm the ghost of Mega Christmas Pass. I'll haunt you constantly unless you give me a fluffy dream. Do you have money to pay for the drinks? Well, I... Do you? Y yes, I, I have money. The girl asked for a fluffy dream, but she's got too crazy if she thinks she's getting alcohol so easily. Fluffy dream, huh? Hmm. <laughs> Soll wir ihr trotzdem Alkohol reinpacken? Dude! Lass das mal machen, Alter. Das ist bestimmt voll witzig. Uh, warum noch ein rein? Noch ein. Komm! Pack mal voll die Scheiß. <lacht> Easy, Alter. Here you go. Wow, I actually got a drink. Wir geben ihr viel Alkohol, ja, das ist... Das ist zur Abschreckung. Die gehen in eine Bar. Ordern was. Dann, dann haut man den Alkohol rein ohne Ende. Dass, 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 dass sie von kotzen müssen. Dass, dass sie den Bierschiss ihres Lebens bekommen, ne? Und dann werden die nie mehr Alkohol trinken. Das ist zumindest die Theorie, dass es dann oftmals anders aussieht, sieht man ja bei unserer aktuellen Jugend. Leider. So, who are you here to the stalk, Miss Ghost of Mega Christmas Past? Stalk? Oh, oh right, I'm a ghost. Uh, that guy, yeah. Which employee did you leave without a Mega Christmas bill? Chill, please. It would have been funny if he reacted to that. Sorry, kid. I'm not in the mood to humor you today unless you have some sort of ID. Here. Well, in a year or so, I would gladly serve you a drink. But until then, this is no place for you. But I, I already got a drink. No, because you barely took a sip of the drink I made for myself. You felt like you got some... It's like a good summer written and offered me to buy it from me, so it's not deducted from my pay. Isn't that right, Gil? Yep. Hey! I mean, if you ordered a drink, you could report me, but you would have to admit to ordering it. And that will bring you a different array of problems. Oh. So, if you would please leave. I, I, I can't leave. Not after trying so hard to even get here. Uh, Alright, let's start from the beginning, Miss Norma. How did you know my name? I saw your ID. It could have been a fake ID. I don't think you're stupid enough to make a fake ID that doesn't put you at 18 at the very least. You're very sharp, Miss Bartender. You look like a nice girl, Norma. Why come to a bar like this? Uh, um... 
You seem like you're in a bad mood, Miss Bartender. No, she's just like that all the time. Shut up! Ah, sorry if I've been harsh. These last couple of days have been heavy. And having someone underage here reminds me of a certain incident from last week. Incident? Well, don't change the subject, young lady. Why did you come here? What do you care? I can do whatever I want. Unless it's illegal, in which case anyone can, Schultz and probably will stop you. I... I just wanted to be more wild, you know? Wild. My mom puts way too many expectations on my shoulders. I've always been out to make sure I don't disappoint her. But it's never enough. It's not good enough to have good grades. She also wants me to go out and take a college preparation course. And I'm tired. I don't want to do things for her anymore. So you came to a bar. Maybe if I came back home smelling like alcohol, she would leave me alone. If I'm not good enough for her, I might as well kill any hope she has in me. You remind me of this client I had a while ago. She um, passed out in the street and my boss brought her here. Your attitude reminds me of how she got once drunk. Huh? Yeah, bitter about the pressure exerted on her. Hers was a workplace pressure, but you still remind me a lot of her. So what of it? So before you think anything else, calm down. I don't want you to go through what she went through. I, I, I'm, I'm calm. <laughs> so let's get this straight. You came here to make your mother disappoint. I will buy a board. <laughs> here to make your mother disappointed. Yes. Do you like alcohol? Actually, I think it's nasty. Then you're doing things wrong. What? If you're gonna disappoint your mom, at least do it with something you like. Like, become a belly dancer because you want to be a belly dancer. Otherwise, you're just trying to hurt her, hurt her for the sake of hurting her. Let's start with something. What do you like doing? I don't know. I've been so focused on trying to be good enough that I haven't been able to think about what I want to do. Uh, don't you think you should start there? Eh? Yeah. What good is doing something just for the sake of hurting someone? If she gets disappointed in you over something you like doing, you have the right to protest. But if you're hurting her by hurting yourself over some things you don't enjoy... Sounds silly, huh? Very. Go home. Do some self-discovery before hurting your mom, will you? Or, at the very least, humor her until you're old enough to move out. Yeah, you're right. Thanks, Miss Bartender. Call me Chill. Chill? Alright. Careful out there. In the end, you did humor her up for a bit. Shut up. Oh, a doggy. Hello, little girl. Oh, shit. G and G. <laughs> How are you doing? You're late. Missed me, Che. You're too early. Ah, good to see you here. Boss, will he be any good around here? I'm right here. I know. Of course I spent lots of time training him. Why do you think he didn't show up last week? Because how the hell would I know you would bring a part-timer dog? Here, let me show you. Sit. Sir, yes sir. Roll. Sir, yes sir. Paw. Sir, yes sir. <laughs> Training, of course. He's only shouting sir, yes sir and not doing anything else though. I never said I did a perfect job. Hmm, is that a motorcycle? Oh shit. Hey, not in my office. In the end, he's just a dog, I guess. Who the fuck's this dude? Y yes? Bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> I would buy it for their bathroom. Oh, sorry, it's only for clients. 
Oh, das ist Gesicht hat sich in meinen Kopf gebrannt. <lacht> oh, I promise me you'll buy something afterwards. It's the door over there. <lacht> Initial D. Who the hell are you? The other one. Sheesh. I said get out of my desk. But the world's ending. It was just a motorcycle. They're the four riders then. <laughs> Those are horsemen, and it already stopped. <laughs> Thanks. Don't mention it. I need to buy something now, right? Oh no, you don't have to. Sorry if it looked like I meant to inconvenience you. No, I ordered something. I need a rest anyway. What can I get you? A uh, piano woman would be nice. Sorry, didn't hear you. Um, uh, I have a Mars player. <laughs> <laughs> Was ist los mit dem Typen, Alter? <laughs> a Mars player for Biker Guy. I think he said Piano Woman first, though. Ooh, come, you gave me my Piano Woman. <laughs> Mal gucken, was dann passiert. Alter, dieser Typ, ich kack ab, Alter. Nein, ich hab verkackt. Das gibt's doch nicht. Oh. Okay, es war durchatmen, Alter. Es, es, es ging gerade gar nicht. Oh. <lacht> Hier. <lacht> you look happy. Shut up. Is that motorcycle out there yours, Mr. Call Mario? And yes, it's mine. Sorry for the noise. Oh, don't worry, it's not like you stayed outside too long or anything. <laughs> so what do you work as, Mario? I live to paint the roads black with my wheels, leaving the trail of my ancient sounds wherever I go. I'm a rebel. Fuck the red lights, fuck the speed limits, fuck the helmet laws. The roads are mine, and mine only, I am. Guys, I'm going outside with the dog. We will advertise this bar. Hello, doggy. Hello, shady guy. Sh 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 shady? <lacht> das ist mein neuer Favorit, dem Dorothy und Alma. Leck mich am Arsch. I'll be back before long. Don't worry. Alright. Careful. Who was she? Oh, she's my boss. She was cute. Oh, uh, not that you're not cute and it's not like I'm into girls either. Not that there's anything wrong with that, I just... So, where do you work, Mario? I told you, I'm a rebel, I... Rebels can't maintain those bikes for too long. What's your day job? I'm a delivery boy. <laughs> That's really appropriate, I guess. What do you deliver? I'm from a career company, so it's kinda like mail, I guess. I'm always around the city, and I know it like the palm of my hand. Sure, I might not remember every building, but I remember every intersection and every street. That's nice. I still can't take detours without feeling totally lost. Try guiding yourself with the help of landmarks around here, the safest stations, and Tana is a good reference. Oh, uh, I mean, what do I care? Fix it yourself, 
<laughs> bitch. <laughs> Do you want anything else, Mario? I guess a moon blast will be nice. Moon blast. Uh, gut punch. Yeah, that one. <laughs> Again, he asked for gut punch, but I'm pretty sure he asked for moon blast first. I'll give you a moon blast. Dieser Typ, Alter. Sweet, girly and happy. Is that Typ gay? Nicht, dass ich ein Problem damit hätte, aber. Ja, ist schon schwul. Gehen wir im Großen, komm. Boy, was ist da los, Alter? Easy. On the rocks and blended. Here. Yeah. Yeah, this is good. It's a moon blast. Uh, I... No, never mind. Say, Mario, why do you try so hard to keep up with the tough guy image? It isn't working. Maybe when you arrived and had to go to the bathroom, but after that you just looked cute. Cute. So, why do it? Bikers are supposed to be scary, right? Rebels that cause trouble and ride from free from society's ties. If we applied that brand of logic here, I should be wearing one third of my clothes and lighting drinks on fire. Uh, I guess. You can do whatever you want and dress however you want. It's just that you look like you're trying to so hard. Like you don't really enjoy that. It, it's, it, it, it's not a lie. Who says you can dress as a biker and still be a nice kid? Y yeah, but other bikers... <coughs> oh, yeah. That sounded like something someone in the high school would say. Uh -huh. ah, it's just that wise, don't take it so personally. Too personally. No, you you're right, I don't have to be that way. Unless you want to, I ain't stopping you there. Yeah. But I don't. It's tiring and I don't feel good. If you want, you can try to stay quiet. You were pretty intimidating when you did that. I see. Will you have another drink or did you have too many already? I can handle another one. Get me a fringe weaver. Sure. He actually asked for a fringe weaver instead or just something manly. Good for him. Fringe weaver. Good. Bubbly, classic and strong. Holy shit! This dude wants to be... Get fucked. Dann unterstützen wir ihn doch dabei. So. H. Mixed. Fuck you. Here. Yup, that's the one. Thanks. Say, that guy over there. Gil, what's up with him? Are you dating him? No. Is he seeing anyone? Not as far as I know. Do you think he... He? No, 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 no never mind. Uh, I said nothing. Thank you for everything. Please, come again. Ah, Gil, you heartbreaking fuckboy. Uh, what? Nothing. I'll be taking my break now, Gil. Okay, careful. Oh. Ging doch wieder recht schnell. Oh boy, oh boy. <lacht> das Spiel, Alter. Es bringt immer wieder was Neues. Ich liebe es. Cool. It's now safe to keep playing. Billy didn't smell like poo today. That's a new one. Billy? Who the fuck is Billy? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, back to business. Back. <clears throat> Any luck? I managed to give out some flyers, but most people were distracted by the dark. I had to tell them to go to the Red, <laughs> to the red Sheba bar to get their attention. Oh. Anyway, I'm back to my office. You stay here. Fine. The door opens and the crowd goes wild. Then when they see... Ah, dog! <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Sup, little 
girl. What are you doing in a bar? <laughs> Honey, some some help here. Hey, dog. I heard cats in the alley. Really? I'll check them out. That's there. Wow, you really are bad with dogs, huh? Did did, did I make it too obvious? Why though? I don't know. Oh, hey, John. Hey, I think it's because I just got that trade at random. When AIs are created, they are given fears or tastes completely at random. I just happened to get stuck with a fear of dogs and chinchillas. Chinchillas are extinct though. Thank God. What will you have? Well, it's the time of the month, so I'll have a bleeding chick. <laughs> It doesn't stop today. There's Fluff Chan. Und. Und jetzt sie. Das ist. Das ist. Wa warum haben. Warum haben Androiden überhaupt ihre per Okay, ja, gut. Vielleicht bekommen wir es gleich zu hören. So, coming right um, up. <lacht> coming right down, girl. A bleeding chain for Dorothy in honor of her time of the month. Yeah, chill, when is it by the other way? Oh, dude. Mal machen! So. Here. The time of the month. Do Lille menstruate? Yes, oil. <laughs> No, silly, we don't. There are a few maintenance things we have to do every month, but those are ju those are a different story. Then what time of month is it? The time when I feel like I'm drinking a bleeding chain. So, how's business? You'll be surprised by how many people get struck by a holiday depression and need some Dorothy in their lives. Although it's also the season with the most competition. I didn't know you had competition. Of course I do. Both humans and Lilim have half of them got a sexy Santa dress and that's not fair. They were sold out. I wanted one too. But maybe it's better that way. How so? <clears throat> the other girls like to dress up in skimpy clothes and show lots of skin. That scares off lots of people. I learned that the best way to maintain regulars is to just dress normally. Really? If I dress normally, they can just pretend I'm some acquaintance. No need to hide me until reaching the room. Hell, some even invite me to a dinner or movie before anything else. Although, I must say it's a bit hard to get the clients in the, in the first place. They can't tell what I do at a, at a glance. And the first time they see me after call, they think I'm just making a prank or something. Huh? I never saw it that way. Which reminds me, do you serve only humans or do you serve Lilim too? Humans only, but I do have an at least 40% organic policy. 40%? Human from the neck up, dicks preferably organic, but <laughs> I can make exceptions. For females, I'm not so strict though. Oh. Why? Do you know someone that might be interested? No, just mere curiosity. Well, your curiosity left me thirsty. Get me a blue fairy, a big one, won't you? Alright. A big blue fairy for the small pink haired pixie. <laughs> Ach man, dieses Spiel. Ich liebe es. Ich liebe die Wortspiele. Ich mag alles und wir pumpen das Ding voll mit Karma drin, das, das kannst du auch glauben. <lacht> Hier. Honey. Shit, er sollte groß sein. Ah, das habe ich vergessen. Honey, you know on how they say that size doesn't matter? It doesn't, but in this case, it does. You know, earlier today there was a mega Christmas spirit around here. What about it? That I'm realizing I made a fuss about selling drinks to someone underage, but here I am. Nothing in particular, just a funny story. I have a funny story myself. It's the Mega Center prank. Ah, uh, the what? 
Eh? It's a prank I pull every year. First I pick a mall, made for a day with lots of people. Then I got the Santa slap and when he asks what I want, I say in the most innocent tone I can muster, I want you to make me a woman. <laughs> Sometimes they try to cover it up. The little wants to be human. It's then when I say no, I want you. <laughs> After that I say, well, at the very least I want Dildo, a big pink one, or a very bumpy cucumber. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I spice it up, instead of cucumbers I ask for a pony and a crane to lift <laughs> I once thought about screaming, help, I'm being molested. But I remembered it was a prank, I didn't want to ruin the guy's life. How considerate. Although I did get a client that way, he became a regular soon, regular soon after. Cool, huh? But yeah, three years and they still don't get it. Get that it's always me. Oh yeah, how old are you? Old enough for anything you want. Numbers, I need numbers. Are you really asking a girl for age that way? Okay, then tell me your age first. Twenty-seven. No fair, you didn't get fidgety or anything like that. Fine, I'll tell you. My model is designed to look between 10 to 13 years old, but my last checkup said my mental age was 24. How long since you've been deployed? That's a secret I'll keep with me. Fair enough. I expected you to get all uncomfortable talking about your age though. Why didn't you? With how dangerous everything has been lately, every year you get matters. But getting old isn't a curse, isn't a curse, it's an achievement. You should make a shirt with that, because if you don't, I will. Feel free to do so. Do you want anything else? Let's see... Ow! Oh, a cobalt revel! It's been a while since I've tried one of those. Alright. She asked for a cobalt revel. Weird. Kobalt Velvet. Soll ich hier das jetzt groß machen? Ich mache es mal groß. Ist doch alles easy, Alter. On the rocks and mixed. Kobalt Velvet. Yep, this is the one. Do you like it? I don't dislike it. I guess I'm not major enough for these strings. <laughs> Shit. Betrunken ist sie sehr gruselig. Sie hat Herzen in den Augen. Hey honey, have you ever seen a Mega Center Gangbang? <lacht> um, uh, uh, that Mega Center that became a regular of mine. He once invited like eight of his friends. Gangbangs are funny because with that many guys, no one knows what to do. <lacht> <lacht> They think about using you too, but they don't want to touch the other guys. Well, you should have thought about that before getting naked in front of the other guys. Eight guys and in the end only two got into it while the others left. Even my regular left. I'll regret asking this, but where are all the other guys? Yep, they were mega senders that worked with him. Of course they were. I've been in many, but I still don't get the charm of gangbangs. Augies I can see though. Well, either remember remembering that got me turned on or the alcohol is kicking in. Either way, I'm leaving. Bye honey. That girl has seen some shit. <laughs> now I can see Mega Sanders with the same eyes. <laughs> why didn't why didn't you tell her you missed her yesterday? Forgot about it. I didn't find any cats. Why not look again? Good idea. <laughs> Hallo, Mädchen, das aussieht wie die eine aus Mirai Nikki. Huh? Another cat? Maybe the bar got popular at some middle school. That would be a hassle. Oh gods, maybe Alma was right. Right about what? 
well, the other day I was asking her her, opini her opinion on the whole Alice Rabbit thing. Before the whole massive transmission hack thing. And at some point she talked about hacking becoming a... So, be becoming a fad and sad. Imagine if suddenly a group of tweens broke into this bar and started asking for drinks. And today there have been two kids already. Uh, how would bartending become a fad? Maybe a cartoon? Kids cartoons don't show any alcohol. True. Um, excuse me miss. This is no place for kids, so you should. Um. Gil, she's she she's staring too much, and and she's saying nothing. She's not ordering anything. She's not causing trouble. And there's nothing inappropriate here. I mean, nothing in, inappropriate aside from alcohol. But alcohol is everywhere, anyways. So what do you suggest? Let her be. Maybe she's just curious about the bar. She's saying nothing. Maybe she's curious and shy. Also, it's rude to speak about people you have in front of you like they can't hear you. Yeah. <laughs> Chill. Bah! How the hell did I startle you? What do you want? Can you help me out with here with a beer? Uh, right. A beer. For Gil. Haven't I seen the girl before? <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Uh. Wenn wir ein großes Spiel machen, wir, 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 wir brauchen das Geld. Ja. Here. Thanks. I know you got a bit. Please. Oh yeah, before I forget. The disposal that comes on Sunday. Do you have any expired ingredients on your side? Oh right, yeah. There's a bottle of Carmotrin that's like a month past ex expiration. Put it by the sink so I remember to dispose of it. Thanks. Hey miss. Mm. Yes? Are you happy? Uh, am I happy? Well, that's a weird question. I'm not sad, I guess. I'm not chivalent, but... No, I mean, are you happy with your life, with your choices? Deep question. I mean, I might have one or two regrets, but I guess it could be worse. <coughs> regrets? Yeah, I mean, don't we all? Oh, shit. I see. Um... Hey, chill. Bah! Again, aren't you a bit on edge? Maybe, what did you want? Didn't you borrow the screwdriver the other day? 